if you want something fuel efficient, buy a Prius. Yes, but with all that being said, in 2018, Jeep came out with the newly engineered Jeep Wrangler JL with efficiencies built into the design and the engine to help fuel efficiency. Did it pan out that way? Well, stick around and we'll see. How'd I do? <sighs> Last weekend, we decided we would check out the Jeep's fuel efficiency. And from watching what you see on the video, I know what you're thinking. Holy smokes, that's amazing fuel efficiency. So in this episode, let's talk about that. In 2018, the Wrangler JL was released as the new version of the Jeep Wrangler with many improvements. One of their intended improvements was fuel efficiency. Let's have a look at how they intended to do that and if they in fact pulled it off. For starters, there are aerodynamic improvements. A mild rake is added to the top half of the front grille which was once vertical. The once flat hood now has a bulge, which adds a smooth and continuous curve over the front end. Although these features seem slight on their own put together, you can see in this visual how the once vertical and horizontal grill and hood are now smooth and rounded for aerodynamic efficiencies. But the aerodynamic efficiencies don't end there. In the Wrangler JL, the front windshield is also raked a few more extra degrees to add to aerodynamic efficiency. In contrast, the more vertical windshield in the JK. Another strategy for fuel efficiency was in the area of weight reduction. For example, the hood, the doors and the tailgate are all made of aluminum panels to help with reduction of weight and improve fuel efficiency. Then, of course, there are the mechanical improvements, such as the addition of the new ZF 8-speed automatic transmission to assist in fuel efficiency, and then, of course, the upgraded Pentastar with all these improvements listed in this graphic, but the link to this graphic will be in the description if you wanted to read more. Before we start looking at some fuel efficiency numbers, I just want to explain what we're looking at here. And this is a 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL Sahara Unlimited with the 3.6 liter Pentstar and 8 speed automatic transmission. The wheels and tires are stock and there are no mods to it whatsoever. The reason why I mention all that is if you have a Jeep Wrangler Sahara JL with the same engine and transmission, if you start putting a lift on it and bigger tires and other mods like steel bumpers and winches and the such, of course that's going to impact your fuel efficiency, but this is a good benchmark that we could compare to. There are a couple variables that would affect your fuel efficiency. For example, the tire pressure that you keep as recommended in the door jam of the Jeep would affect the fuel efficiency. The kind of tires you have on your Jeep, mine are just the stock Sahara all-terrain tires. The temperature outside would affect your fuel efficiency. The amount of wind that you're driving against would affect your fuel efficiency. There's all kinds of variables. Even the quality of the gas that you put in could affect your fuel efficiency. So keeping all that in mind, this isn't a scientific study per se, as much as it is a regular Jeep Wrangler JL owner sharing with you the kind of fuel efficiency he's experiencing in his Jeep. Also, most of the kilometers I drive happen to be highway miles. Keeping that in mind, that would temper perhaps the kind of uh, fuel efficiency results you might get in your Wrangler. So let's have a look at what our numbers look like. So here's the main central dash display and it's showing us some interesting information. It's showing us 9.3 liters per 100 kilometer fuel efficiency since it was last reset. And you can see in this graphic that's approximately 30 miles per gallon imperial or 25 US. The tank is full and it shows a range of 710 kilometers or 441 miles as it assumes I'll be able to maintain a fuel efficiency rate of six liters per 100 kilometers. The Jeep is in drive in eighth gear and the odometer reading is over 100,000 kilometers. 
Here I'm showing that the PSI of the tires are close to the recommended 36 PSI. And now we're looking at the Trip A display, where it shows I am achieving 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers, or 30.7 miles per gallon Imperial, or 25.6 US. And that reading has been taken with 1050.7 kilometers accrued since the last reset of that trip meter. And the fuel efficiency number is still improving on this trip, showing 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers or 31 miles per gallon Imperial or 25.9 US. What a trip! 9.0 liters per 100 kilometers or 31.4 miles per gallon Imperial or 26.1 US. This picture is from another trip where I was able to achieve 8.9 liters per 100 kilometers or 31.7 Imperial, 26.4 US. And finally, before somebody calls the fake news police, I have 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers or 32.9 miles per gallon Imperial, 27.4 US. But let's try and understand the numbers here. We have a full tank of gas, I've driven 63.9 kilometers and in that time I achieved 8.6 liters per 100 kilometer fuel consumption. I don't know how to accurately explain this but essentially I drove about 64 kilometers in an hour's time and I drove from Guelph to Hamilton and that's the fuel consumption. Okay now with all that being said I hand calculate my fuel efficiency as well. At the beginning of the trip, I'll top off the gas tank till I see the gas up at the nozzle. I'll click on the left arrows on the steering wheel to get down to trip A on the display and then hold my finger down on the OK button to reset the trip meter. And now I'm ready to start my trip. My weekend drive involves driving through some small towns, secondary highways, and super highways, and back again. And at the end of my trip, you can see on the trip meter, I have put 646.7 kilometers on the Jeep, and I have achieved a fuel efficiency of 9.3 liters per 100 kilometers, or 30.4 miles per gallon Imperial, or 25.3 US. So now it's time to refill the gas tank the same way I did at the start of the trip. And take note that I used 58.7 liters to do it. So essentially, in 58.7 liters, I drove 64.67 kilometers. So how many liters did I use to go 100 kilometers? Well, that comes out to 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers or rounded to 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers or 31 miles per gallon Imperial 26 miles per gallon US so I have to admit this is pretty good fuel efficiency as registered in the trip meter and as reinforced by the hand calculations I think Jeep did a pretty good job on their fuel efficiency efforts or maybe I just had the wind at my back but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with that fuel efficiency considering we're talking about pushing something the shape of a brick through the wind. Hey, well, I hope you found that interesting. And if you did, please remember to click on that like icon or share the video with somebody you think that might enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to click on the subscribe button down below and then click on the alert bell so that you'll be notified when the next video comes out. But for now, let's move on to our tip segment. Now for some cheaper, jeeper tips. Now as far as tips are concerned, it's kind of hard for me to give you any tips because there isn't anything special here that I followed. I've kept my Jeep stock for now. I make sure I do all the regular maintenance on my Jeep Wrangler as per schedule in this video. And as this video suggests, I made sure to change the oil. And in this video, I always make sure I rotate my tires. And here in this video, I changed my air filters. In this this video, in this video, oh, I, I'll have to make that one. <laughs> and make sure I change the engine and cabin air filters as well. So in terms of tips, all I can say is, if you keep your Jeep stock and maintain it regularly, 
it's reasonable to expect a similar type of fuel efficiency, which isn't too bad when you think about what the vehicle is. So, well, I hope you found that tip helpful, but now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. Hey, Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'd like to buy a Wrangler and I would want the 4H Auto option as I love the security of an all-wheel drive system. Signed, Healthy American. Hey, Healthy American. Thank you so much for posting your comments in the comment section of the How to Use 4-Wheel Drive Jeep Wrangler video where we covered the Select Track feature as well. I find that feature immensely helpful and it was one of my must-have options when I purchased my Jeep Wrangler. In fact, if you're interested in some other must-have options, you might be interested in our 5 must-have options video. Feel free to check it out and let me know what you think. So that was pretty interesting and if you have an interesting tip, please feel free to share them in the comments section below any of the videos. and. In our next episode, we might be able to use a couple of them. Hey, well, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. We hope that you found it interesting. And if you did, remember, subscribe, click like, and share the video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. Till the next time, be well, stay safe, take care.